have seen a repeat of the book of Acts. How things happened in the days of the apostles. People came and surrendered their charms, surrendered their lives to God. Sorcerers were following Jesus in those days. And that's what we see in our time. He testifies, he said he was about, uh, he was a teenager, my father, about 14 years old at the time when he got involved my father he actually joined a, a, a hunters organization and he got involved in a lot of um, things papa and they started um, introducing him to using charms and other diabolical things papa then i saw some friends again they told you that they can initiate you into a group yes sir that will make you rich yes, you sir. got this because they told you that you will be protected yes sir number two that you will not have sickness Yes, sir. And number three, they said you will be rich. Yes, sir. They say you'll be protected. No iron will enter you. Yes, sir. And he said at the time um, he lost he lost a brother that was also into those things. So he made a vow to himself to go even deeper into it for the sake of his brother, to his brother's memory. So from that year, my father, till today, right now he is 22 years of age, my father. So that's over eight years, my father. He has been involved in practices of um, witchcraft, my father, charms and all that. And then my father, he said, not only was he receiving over time, he got deeply into it till he got to the point where he himself gives um, medicines and charms to other people, my father. He practically became a witch doctor himself. And my father, we even have pictures of uh, those times when he was into those practices. Hallelujah. And then my father, on um, Friday before last Sunday, he went to a particular place for fishing, my father. And they were actually using their charms there and doing some funny things there, Papa. And all over his body were charms and everything. And then a particular lady was there and she heard him being called So she was shocked. So she came and approached him and said, is his name And he confirmed, yes, his name was and so she said, please, I want you to follow me to my church on Sunday. Are you here, somebody? My father, the sister told him she wants him to follow her to her church on Sunday, which is EFI, Papa. And my father, he said, she insisted, so he promised her that she will be coming to church on Sunday. But even before she left, he told her, don't think that I will give up any charm in that your church. I'm not going there to give up any charm. I'm just going there to honor my promise to you. And Papa, he testifies, he said, even before that, he has actually been going to churches, my father, but with um, sinister um, um, objectives, my father. He would go to a place with the intention of trying the pastor, my father, or attempting some diabolical things in the church. And never has he ever been apprehended, Papa. So my father, he said, this time he told her she shouldn't expect anything to happen because he has been to churches and nothing has happened. So one of the things that even made him want to come was to prove to her that nothing will happen to him even if he comes to our church are you here somebody and then papa he came to church on sunday he followed her just as he promised and he even came with his mom that day and then they were sitting in the overflow papa together with the sister beside him and he said while you were preaching and praying all of a sudden he began feeling pricked in his heart and then he began hearing voices telling him to leave the church papa and my brother, he was shocked because he said on a normal day when he goes to a church, the forces instigate him even to attempt some things against the man of God. But he said this time he was shocked that they were telling him to run away. Are you here, somebody? And then my father, celebrate Jesus, somebody. Papa, he said he started to tell the sister that he wants to go and buy something outside. But she was the one that told him not to go anywhere. And he, was, he felt practically trapped, Papa. While he was still trying to tell her that he wanted to go out, that was when you went to the overflow. And just as you were passing by where he was sitting, you said, you hear a name, my father, and you call his name. Come and celebrate Jesus, somebody. And Papa, he's actually t he actually told me today, he said, when you call his name, Papa, he actually wanted to hide and pretend it wasn't him. And he started to remove some of the rings he was wearing his charms and hiding them in his pocket. But the sister that was sitting with him pushed him and told him, isn't that your name? Why don't you stand up? And then he stood up, my father. And the moment he stood up, all of his defenses disappeared. Are you here? And Papa, he didn't know you began to narrate issues concerning him. You are supposed to have KK. Yes, sir. Do you know KK? Yes, sir. You are supposed to have KK. Yes, sir. Did you drive KK? I'm, yes, sir. You are driving KK? Yes, sir. Before. 
you drove KK before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have been having bad luck. Yes, sir. There were there was a time I saw some guys they went out to attack you. Yes, sir. Like Sheila boys or something. Yes, sir. They removed knife with you for me. They removed knife. Yes, sir. They tried to attack you. Yes, sir. You talked about all the charms he has been using, and before he knew it, Papa, he began surrendering them himself and narrating all the things he had been in, he had been involved in, and. Ten rings were removed from his hand. How many of you were in church that last Sunday? My father, he removed the rings from his hand and he still went home and brought more charms, Papa, and came and surrendered them here. You prayed for him and led him to Christ, Papa, and he surrendered his life to Jesus. Do you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Do you want to renounce these things? Yes, sir. Yes, Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. Natuba. Natu. Kagafar Tamini. Nakarbeka. Nakarbeka. Yo. Yo. Ama sayin. Ama sayin. Uban kijina. Uban kijina. Dama ichetona. Dama ichetona. Nara bakaina. Nara bakaina. The duk ayu kan shera. The duk ayu kan shera. The gayo. The gayo. Har abada. Har abada. Yesus. Atchikin suna Yesus. Atchikin suna Yesus. Amen. Amen. Come and celebrate Jesus, somebody. Papa, he surrendered his charms there and he said it with his own mouth. He said, this is just God arresting me in this place this morning. Come and celebrate Jesus, somebody. And my father, he said, after that Sunday, Papa, it was as if all the desire, all the taste for all those things disappeared completely from his heart, Papa. And he found himself sincerely wanting to serve God and to have a turnaround in his life. And my father, after that Sunday, he began coming to church every day of the week, all through last week. Papa, he even said without anyone telling him, for the first time in his life, he began fasting, my father. Are you here, somebody? So my father, all through the week from Monday till yesterday, Papa, he was coming to church every day, seeing a pastor that was taking him through foundational classes and showing him the way of being a believer, Papa. And he said his life has already turned around completely to the glory of God. My father, his mother has been crying almost every day when she remembers how you located her son here and how her son's life has been turned around. And my father, he testifies, he said he went back home and he kept met, meeting friends, Papa. Some of them heard of what happened in church. So, and then other ones just met him and were surprised to see that he was transformed. A particular one met him, Papa, and said, where have you been? And he said, I'm sorry, I haven't been available. I've just been busy with church. And the person was shocked. He said, do you mean you are visiting somebody in church or you are working there as a security? He said, no, I myself am attending church. And Papa, the person lifted his hands to check whether his rings were there and the person was shocked to see that there were no longer rings on his fingers anymore and the person was shocked he said the church that would actually deliver you from what you were involved must really be a church that has God in their midst celebrate Jesus somebody so my father Mr. Here, formerly a practicing witch doctor, is now fully a convert and a follower of Jesus, the God of nobility. Celebrate Jesus, somebody! Hallelujah! My father, this is a clear manifestation, Papa, just as you showed us from the book of Acts 1919, Papa, how native doctors came and surrendered their charms before the apostles. This has happened live in our midst, and this can only be the finger of Jesus, the God of nobility. Celebrate Jesus, somebody, for the life of Mr. as he takes his seat in the presence of God. The whole thing was happening last week as if it was a movie. The guy started removing all the rings. Went home, brought some that day. Went home again on Monday. Came with some items. On Tuesday, came with some items. Surrendered everything. And he said he just didn't know what happened to him. He couldn't do anything. He became helpless. No one can contend with the power of God. No one. Shout hallelujah. That was God's raw power at work. He was just shocked. But I have the answer now. It was Jesus at work. It was the Holy Ghost at work in the lives of the people. And I prophesy, if there is anyone in any family that has become a witch doctor customer or that is into these things, God will deliver them in the name of Jesus. There will be victory for the family in the name of Jesus.